Hi there, I'm Construction Gamer and this is the UK Northern Powerhouse on Transport Fever 2. This is going to be episode number 36 in the series and in this episode I'd like to make a start on East Midlands Parkway. I was in two minds whether or not I was going to build it and I think looking at it it probably does need to be uh, to be built and then I can start thinking about East Midlands Airport as well. So I'm going to build that and we'll make a start on that anyway. It's, it's, the station itself isn't that complicated but the junctions leading to it look relatively complicated we're currently sat at manchester airport which we built in the last episode there's not a great deal going on here at the minute there are no flights because there's only one airport uh, and there's not a huge amount of rail service going in i have extended the transport for wales rail service into the airport now i know not every single service throughout the day actually stops at the airport but i just thought trying to, it, it would help free up some of the conflicts at Manchester Piccadilly. I've extended the Liverpool to Manchester service. That is going to go to Crewe because I think that has been joined up. Um, so the Manchester Airport to Crewe shuttle and the Liverpool to Manchester Airport uh, stopping service. And I think those two services are joined together. So that's what I'm going to do once we've got the line down to Crewe. And obviously we've got the Transpan and Express Manchester Airport Star Darlington service. Um, not sure where that'd be going in real life, but that's in place anyway. So uh, yeah, we've got got that in got that built basically, and we can start thinking about getting some more service in there eventually. But yeah, I do want to get Manchester, uh, not Manchester, East Midlands Parkway. I want to get that built so we can actually get some flights on the go. I know it's not a huge distance, where is it? It's going to be around here somewhere. So it's not a massive distance, but I think it might get used. I think in Transport Fever 2, the mechanics have been changed ever so slightly so that uh, people will actually use the airport now. And there's definitely going to be loads of train services. What I'm going to have to do for the park, the um, East Midlands Parkway is just put a shuttle bus in between because there doesn't appear to be any rail links into the airport itself. But before I do that though, I did want to do something else. So we've got that's my port over here. I'm I want to send some fuel over towards Leeds to get Leeds to grow a little bit. So I think I'm going to take away. I want to sell you um, truck routes that. So I'm going to sacrifice the. Ellesmere Port fuel run because Ellesmere Port doesn't need to be that big. I'm, I'm going to keep the Birkenhead one because I'd like that to grow a little bit because uh, that needs to be quite big. It's only just a little bit smaller than Liverpool though but it's not to worry and I think I'm going to take the St Helens fuel run as well so um, we want the list of trucks St Helens. I mean, we're not sending a huge amount of fuel to St Helens anyway but we are shipping quite a lot of it we're not fully supplying it Liverpool is only getting 60% Manchester is only getting 40% so it is a tricky one because I can't ramp up production we are at maximum well almost maximum it, it seems to go up and down a little bit uh, 384 we should Pretty much, we should be supplying all the fuel because we're shipping 100. So it takes two crude oil to make one refined oil. So we've got two sources of crude oil and they're pretty much maxed out now. And then this takes just one refined oil to make one fuel. So that should all be perfect. And I'm not entirely sure why it's not. We do have two trains running now between Stanlow and Warrington Bank Quay. So there shouldn't be any fuel supply issues unless no that's fine where's where's the have I that's that's a train at uh, the MU that's that have I definitely put I'm pretty sure I put in two there it is it's on the return anyway so it's got a little bit of fuel back to there so right okay that's good so what I've done is um, I built an entirely new re road network which goes around Warrington bypasses Manchester comes up here bypasses Huddersfield and Halifax and then it, there's a new road between Bradford and Leeds now Leeds is actually considering how many train services are actually pulling to it, it's pretty small so 
it is going to need some fuel so we need to go on to is it that one yeah so all the fuel is pretty much centered around here so I'm just going to put a stop in I'm not going to bother with that doesn't tell you anything I think that's better isn't it that, that's weird I think that just kind of shows you that sort of coverage but if you could take it off then that is I think I've already got a truck stop there let's just click on that that's pretty much covered the whole industry so I'm going to put this Leeds route back in but I want to start it at Warrington Bank Key which is over here or is it no that's to Manchester I, I know it's a long way for road vehicles to go but I can't really see why is that doing that is that I know that's the right way in no is it that doesn't seem doesn't feel to me like that is the right way um, but that according to that it is quicker so I will leave it to it might might take yeah I'm gonna take ownership of this road if I haven't already just so it doesn't get downgraded because I want it to be maximum speed running up through let's see yeah it uses that new bypass which is good and I'm gonna make that uh, so that's uh, Warrington it's fuel isn't it fuel Warrington to Leeds let's make that a SO red we haven't got many red colors that's yeah that'll do so hopefully we will get some fuel sent towards Leeds anyway but I think for now I'll just put on cargo got these man man trucks got those and we want four for now I don't want to put too many on in one go maintenance to 25% and then just the ones we can see fuel to leads why are you on that bay oh, that's fine um, actually no, I think I'll put that on two so there's a little bit more stacking capacity and that should be able to go around there I think I will put you on three and already we are no that's the wrong one click on that one no oh, no I thought we were sending some to Leeds then but we're not terminals fuel no weird that must be the side for the um, let's speed things up a bit it's just giving it all to Liverpool for the minute and Manchester but hopefully if we can just get a, a little bit of fuel over towards Leeds then uh, it should be all right and they look like they're gonna be in the way uh, no stop stop what you're doing where's this route Warrington West don't want to go until maximum waiting time of two minutes two minutes yeah Actually, I think what I will do because I've put that across all of the, all of the routes. So let's just reduce the waiting time down. Just otherwise, we are going to be in the way. But we don't want them to leave until they have at least got some fuel in them anyway. Can I release that? No. Yeah, it's the only issue. It's going to block everything, but he's only going to wait there two minutes, and he will, he will get sent away with some fuel, which is the bonus. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to wait for a couple of for these three to leave, and then I'm going to put a couple more on, and then we're going to head over towards uh, towards the East Midlands Parkway. Okie dokie. So I've put seven fuel tankers on in total. Uh, the first one is only now just arriving into Leeds it is a long drive but there, I can't really see a practical uh, rail based solution to it and it's just just to get a little bit of fuel into Leeds and hopefully make it grow a little bit more than it is I know we can I'm saying that if you look at the rail connection 12,000 destinations 250% uplift and we're still only at 319 so it definitely does need a bit of fuel I think feeding into that could actually could improve the road network substantially as well and try and get leads to get a little bit bigger 
than it currently is but enough about trying to do that anyway and the next thing we want to do is to look around here now the drive from East Linden Parkway to Loughborough isn't really that far but so we'll, we'll figure something out and first of all first thing we want to do is delete all this track that I built a few episodes back I was what I didn't take a close look at the approaches really I just plonked in all the rail that I wanted um, so we've got the map up now so it comes out of Derby what's that one there that's coming down there it does oh no I've deleted have I deleted the wrong thing I think I have never mind let's delete some more of it and reposition some of the track if we can get East Midlands Parkway as as far north as we can just so the run down to Loughborough is isn't I'm actually saying that it's not it's not that bad so I think around here I'm just gonna smooth off or flatten off some of the terrain around here it's just by the looks of it I'm looking at open rail map it is just a straightforward four track pla uh, four track platform four track platform four platform four track station <laughs> Uh, get my words out in the end so we want something I'm assuming it's going to be a modern building it's not what's that am I on the oh no, I'm on the elevated I don't think it's elevated is it is that yeah that's elevated that one uh, 240 I think and something like that maybe so where where do we want to be so this track coming from Nottingham this leads in and then joins together and there is a bit of a junk so so we are going to need to come down to about here I reckon just to give us the space I am gonna to have to move Derby station up as well and then put in a uh, bus but I do want to I can't imagine it being hugely busy I'm not sure yeah I do have the service diagram map to refer to but I haven't uh, I haven't looked at it yet it's not electrified is it so that can be unelectrified but I just want to get rid of all this get rid of that and that actually you know what I might do is can I just hold to the oh you can hold the delete button on this as well fantastic makes things a little bit quicker it's still really jerky when you're editing trains and uh, stations let's get rid of all this um, yeah get rid of that I think what I might just do is refer to um, so it's East Midlands Parkway and we just want to refer to the satellite image so it's a it's a pretty is it four yeah it is four what's that weird looking thing down there so yeah it is it was actually set up the way it was trying to which is all fine but Having said that, for the furthest to the east, the most easterly platform platforms actually are quite short, but I'm going to keep them all the same length just for simplicity in this instance. But it is, it's a, a relatively modern station, anyways, and relatively new. It's not electrified, so we can go with high speed track. Um, so I've forgotten how big. 240 meter long station is let's just chuck that in so it's at least it's another another two segments right so keep it a, a nice even length I think uh, platforms and what I'm going to use is the NL passenger platforms I just also wanted to do really was have two down the middle just for that that capacity just in case there was any queuing in the future and then just get rid of get rid of all that not any queuing but any crowds on the uh, on the actual platforms themselves it just helps to increase the capacity you haven't got two basically you've got two platform faces using one platform segment which obviously reduces your overall capacity so get that in get these in and it means we can do an overpass as well by using the NL segments so just double check because it is yeah that's all fine I think it's in misc is it 
Yeah, well, I think we'll have a two way. So we'll have two down the middle. Uh, something like that, I guess. And it does have. Actually, I think on this side it does just have like a couple of waiting rooms. And then the roof is down here. And I think there is a bit of a canopy on the westerly platform as well. Um, I think we'll have that. Obviously, we, we're not going for super accuracy with any of these builds, but if we can just do a little bit of a nod to it, then I think that's a good thing. Right, get that in. A couple of um, rows of seats, got some shelters there, that's all fine. And then passenger building, we will put a modern station building on the front which is somewhere all right all right oh, i've just gone straight past them about you yeah so we'll put yeah put a relatively big building on there and then i think just a couple of a couple of little ones there just to balance it out a little bit like so so that is all fine next thing we want to do is i think just need to bring up the open rail map again now this is where things get a little bit interesting, so we've got, I think, right, get that, get that open again. Coming from here, we'll go up to about there with some high speed track, <coughs> but no electrification, like that, and I think 58, that's quite slow, maybe not. So if we bring some track actually yeah we'll use this as a guide and then just go straight up like that and then down for now and then just push them back and that's a bit a little bit better 65 because i'm we're not sure well i'm not sure if all stations will be calling at east midlands parkway so we might have some that are like non-stop so we don't really want them to be having to slow down and then this track comes in 50, 49, yeah, I think that's, I know I've done it as the crow flies, but I think that's about as fast as we're going to get it anyway. And then just whip that over to there, put this junction back in, I think actually this wants to come back a little bit, but before I do that, just want a little bit of track, just, just like to about there and then where's Darby? Yeah, Darby is should have built this probably a little bit further a little bit further south but never mind keep that one flat for now I know it's created a bit of an ugly ugly bit of terrain there but not to worry I will get that sorted and then I think we can come start to come up after that like so so, and then we'll put this three-way junction in. Again, I'm not entirely sure if it's going to get used that much, but we'll put it in anyway. And then actually we did want to be relatively flat. Let's just uh, check what type of junction that is. It is a, what is it, standard. So as soon as we come out of there, we need to be curving like that now we need to bring it from the other end don't I so something like that this is, is this gonna be hideous is it it's it's slow but no don't want tunnel maybe 40 is a little bit more acceptable I think and then bring that in no that's not gonna let us do that then bring that in to there so 35 a bit, that, something a bit faster for that that's better good so that is the track that heads off. Where does that head off to? That's the one that heads off towards Utoxter. Good. Sorted. Right, so that's heading off to Utoxter. Now this bit here is going to head off towards Derby. So, coming up. No, I'm going to be coming up, thank you. Uh, it is going to have to actually head straight. I know it, it points up a little bit in real life, but I just think the way everything is especially with the positioning of Nottingham then it is going to have to do that and then directly after this we want another junction as well so now get rid of that build 
that. Let's just take a quick look. It wants to be, I think that will do. I'll double check it anyway just to be sure. And then run that in to. Uh, let's just have a quick look at this. That all looks nice and flat. That's good. And then this just wants to run off to here. What's that? 76. No, that's a bit un unnecessarily slow, I think. So if we just chuck that into there, what's 1844? That all looks fine to me. So chuck that in there, like so. Now, no, I'm not, you know, I'm not, don't feel happy with. Unless I build Derby all the way up here and then. I don't know. But I don't really want this to be. Yeah, it's, it's. I can't really have Derby there. I think that's just too. too far away and it's further up towards Matlock. I wish you could pick up stations and move them. <laughs> Because I'm, I'm happy with that station, that looks alright, but it's just where it is. I think it does need to come down a little bit further south, so right, I'll have to do that. Okie dokie, so it's a little bit further south, it's still not ideal, because you can see there, Derby still needs to be quite far north. Uh, is there any service? I'm not sure if there's any services, but never mind. I will just have to run a bus shuttle service thing to Derby. So, uh, to Derby Railway Station, uh, I think as well. I'm just going to run this track a bit uh, southwesterly. I know it it does actually go more north northwesterly in real life, but just the way things are, I think this is probably going to be the only way it's going to work. I just need to. Yeah, there is a little bit of a. Actually, saying that, let's get some of this back. There is a little bit of a kink in the track. Which takes it in more of a southwesterly direction. So we can exaggerate that a little bit, but we still want a reasonable speed. I'm not sure what sort of trains will be on this. Uh, are they think, yeah, they're not going to be going that fast anyway, are they? Between East Midlands Parkway and Derby, they're not really going to be able to get up to. Even if they're, I was going to say HSTs, but they weren't not going to be HSTs, are they? They're going to be. I'm not sure what they'll be for now because we don't have meridians yet. What can I put on them? We do have... Oh, what, why, why are you being so annoying? What's, what's your problem? Right, that's fine. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to put on this anyway. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, it does, it does come down a little bit. We're exaggerating it, but it's not the end of the world, is it? And then I'm just going to plonk in any old station for now. I will revisit Derby at some stage, I think. Yeah, we'll just we'll just stick with two, four, two. Stick with two. Have it about there. That's fine. It's pretty much not far off where it used to be, actually. So it's not that bad. And then just plonk that in there. Pretty slow, I know. We've got to put out another piece of track out the back, which goes links up with this track as well. And then heads off, heads off to you, Toxter. But when putting that. No, we'll just leave that and then we'll get this connected up to there and then I will at some stage revisit Derby. There's no, we mustn't have any services coming down this far actually. So that's all fine and then just want to flatten some of this off, get rid of that road. This all needs to be upgraded and then just run it off now it doesn't want to be doesn't want to be on a viaduct or anything but having said that I do want to do to bring run it straight like that good get rid of you and then another straight piece of track which doesn't want to link up right <laughs> do that good bring that into there and then all the way down to there and another piece this is really a backwards way of trying to do what I want to do but it's just using that center point helps if I left some track in there I have just helps have a nice a section of track like that which joins them joins those two sections together with a relatively well I say relatively with a very high top speed something like that good 
yeah, bit of a bit of a roundabout way of doing it, but uh, it does produce a nice thingy curve, a good curve. <laughs> um, right, and then the first thing I'm going to do is actually get rid of all this track and put in some street underneath. And then bring this. Is this going to be? It should be high enough. Right, so we want to go to about there. I think we want to. Don't want to be on the level, but we want to be. Yeah, is that snapping? No, it's not. Let's try that again. Oh, where are we? Yeah, the <laughs> speed's been. This happened last time, right? Is that. I think that's snapped. Yeah, collision. Yeah, that's good. That's fine. 80 that's fine as well that's 43 that's not so good right, let's bring this back all the way down here and then all I want to do is create a, a nice simple bridge and I'm making it really complicated so just chuck that into there I don't even know there's probably not a bridge here but I just want to use the new girder bridges that's all I wanted to do which are something like this, got a whole different variety of girder bridges available now. Uh, so that's not not sure what I want to use. I think I'll just use a standard standard one and then there's different colour variations. I'll just I think I like the the green. Something like that. Just wanted to use these basically. And then coming from here, we want embankment. It is can be quite fiddly to use, especially if you want them to look half decent and then if we head off to assets we do have so it's actually a four track section um, and what have I done here I think normal can I just plonk that on there and that's on the road so if we flip it round that's five that's four four tracks please that's better and then a similar one on there I think you meant to have it the other way around to be honest but I think it was just in going into the road let's try it again I haven't played around with these fully because there are lots of different settings in this to actually play around with so let's put that in there and then that one yeah it's not too bad actually and you can see the buttress a little bit better and then just smooth off some of the terrain around it so yeah it's not <laughs> not the best one you'll ever see but I just it's, it is going downhill quite rapidly there, which isn't ideal, I don't think, but I think after that, actually, I just want to refer back to the map. So that's Loughborough coming in, coming down, I think. Where's Loughborough? Disappeared. Come on, Loughborough. Yeah, Loughborough is a four track, four platform station. So I'm going to keep it four track all the way down and then I will build Loughborough. I think it is, a f I don't like building them as terminus stations, but I think in this instance, because of where I put Loughborough right down there, it is going to have to be straight. And then I just, I think what I will do is I'll build a four, four platform station, but I will just have on each of these, because this, each of these is, I'm treating as an up pair of up downs. And that's an up down so I'll just put a diamond crossing in just for the turn back facility and what I want to do actually is downgrade that get that connected up to there found a quick way when you're built if you want to build a road and you want to take ownership of it if you build the road in a different type and then upgrade it then you take ownership of the road I think that's just a quicker way of going rather than going round with the uh, the unlock key. So I'm actually going to upgrade all this anyway because I want the road connections to be better. I think I'll take ownership of that, but I think I'll just chuck in another connection into there. So we've got that in there. That's all fine. That needs a little bit of smoothing out. That needs connecting up. But we do have the main East Midlands Parkway station is. I think I'll build the airport off camera because it's just a place. A, it's just a case of plonking down the single runway airport. It has to be a. Is there a difference? I think there are. There is a difference between large and small airports, isn't there? So 
so yeah we'll put down one of them hunger we'll, yeah we'll put that down in a minute anyway it's it, not important because I do need to play around with some of the road network and just before I forget is chuck a couple of signals in so we're gonna have to have one there no not one there that's facing the wrong way one there and then coming in from this end, end is one there and one there that's as much as we're going to get these are pretty much uh, two independent sections of track anyway so they shouldn't be conflicting with each other so that should all be fine so there we are we've got East Midlands Parkway and it was a bit of a bit of a faff trying to get it in and get it to work with Derby there and Derby needs to be reconnected needs a bus service and all sorts so yeah but at least we've got that in anyway so yeah there we are I've got it done I'm going to leave it there for today and say until next time bye bye